Good morning. Why don't you tell everyone your name? Good morning. I'm Rachel. Thank you. Come on now. We can give Rachel a hand clap. Now, Miss Rachel, can you just tell us a little bit about your walk in faith and what has led you to this church? What is leading you into this water? The Lord is leading me into this water. Uh, I am very grateful to be able to have the opportunity to be baptized today by Pastor Joe and Pastor Fred. Uh, I really am uh, excited to know the Lord closer. I want to love what he loves and hate what he hates. Uh, less of me, more of him. And uh, seize the moment is a great uh, uh, carpe diem. Last night, um, Fred reminded me this was happening, but when it was announced last week, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about getting baptized, uh, new beginnings. Uh, I did get baptized three years ago, but so much has changed and evolved. And as a Christian, uh, my walk with God and uh, the Holy Spirit has just evolved. And so I'm really excited for relationship and closer relationship with the Lord. Amen. Hey Amen. I'll give a hand clap of praise for that. We'll run to the water, Miss Rachel. and you've seen her dedication through baptism. Holy Spirit, come and help her in doing the things you love, and not doing the things you hate, and may you use her life in a significant and powerful way. We pray from this day forward in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's give a hand clap of praise as we welcome our next baptism participant. Why don't you let everybody know your name? My name is Joshua. Joshua, come on. Joshua deserves a hand clap. Joshua, give us something brief, something that's led you here today to this tank. Yeah, so I think, uh, well, actually, I've been uh, dealing with a lot of uh, um, just negative thoughts and just been uh, feeling like a void in my life. So I think uh, just helping with um, praying all the time, and, and I feel Jesus really fill my heart, and I think this is a, a big step to do. I was uh, baptized Catholic when I was born, and uh, I never was really a, a practicing Catholic, so I saw the church uh, advertisement at a movie theater, a few years back and uh, decided to check it out and, and fell in love. So I think this is a big step in my relationship with Christ. Absolutely. It's a major step. Give him a hand clap of praise as he prepares to go into the tank. Awesome testimony, Joshua. Welcome, Joshua. Well, Joshua... It's a decision for you to serve God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and uh, have God touch you in a very special way right now. We're going to bury the old Joshua, resurrect, resurrect the new Joshua, Jesus Christ. So we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I thank you for that power to rest upon his life, that you would touch him and anoint him and use him. Father, may you guide and direct his path. May they be ordered of the Lord, and may the favor, power, and anointing of God rest firmly upon his life, and may his light shine brightly for all to see. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Let's have our next baptism participant step on up here. Why don't you introduce yourself real fast? Robert Chavez. Mr. Robert, come on, everybody. Robert, can you share something with us about what's led you to this decision today? It's been a couple months now. Decided to do this for my mother as a surprise. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Well, without any further ado, let's lead into the water. Let's follow Jesus as he did. Robert, welcome. And I know we were talking before the service and your mom pulled up. And, and uh, I'll tell you, there couldn't be a prouder person. 
You couldn't have given your mom a greater gift than to surrender your life fully and completely to the Lord Jesus Christ. God wants to use your life. God wants to speak through your life. God wants you to be a light that will shine through all the darkness of this world. May it shine brightly. So right now, Robert, as you have proclaimed your faith in Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let the Father just touch Robert, anoint him, and favor him. The Lord cause his light to shine brightly for all to see. May there be a boldness in his declaration and his faith in you, and may he share it freely and easily with all that would hear it. May the goodness of God rest upon him. May he be a soul winner. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Amen. And last but certainly not least, I want you to come over here by me. Everybody, this is Mr. Chris. I guess I didn't let you introduce yourself, but it's say, hey, I'm Chris. Hey, I'm Chris. <laughs> all right. So is it okay if I share something? So Chris, I met him through our New Wave Youth Program, and he started coming, started talking to us more about God. One day he asked me for a Bible. Gave him a Bible, he went home. A couple of weeks later he came back and said, Pastor, I think I'm ready to turn my life over. And so we prayed a prayer. He gave his life to God. God has been working through him ever since. And I'm just excited to see what God's going to do through your life because you're only, what, 19 you got so much more life to live, so much more to give to him. So I'll get out of the way now. This is your moment. Would you like to share something? Uh, yeah, I'm going to thank Pastor Tyler. You know, I first came here. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know nothing. I just, I did not know. I was lost. I was looking for, for a way to find a happiness and peace in my life. I was confused. But... For some reason, I don't know. I just I was drawn. I was drawn here alone. Like I had nobody tell me to come here. Um, I had my dad on my mind before he passed. He was a Christian, and I don't know. And I want to bring happiness around people around me. You know, I don't want nothing. You know, I think it's just God working in me. You know, I don't know. So yeah. We're under the water. Chris, I was 22 years old when I got baptized, a little bit older than you are, but I've lived for the Lord ever since, and he's taken me some wonderful, 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 wonderful places, and I know God has great things in store for your life. He wants to use your life. He wants to give you an expression of power throughout the planet, but I'm going to just pray that God's blessing will come upon you in such a way that is evident for all to see that your light will shine so brightly to all of humanity and the goodness of God might be manifest through you. So I now baptize you, Chris, as a proclamation of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus, Father and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, come upon Chris right now. Send forth your Holy Spirit to fill him with joy, unspeakable. May he sense the presence of your goodness and the pleasure of your goodness and may the happiness and joy that his Father now shares with him from heaven above be upon him. And he knows that his dad knows what he did just now. May the glory of God be upon him, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What we saw today as a church and what you're being a part of and support is the next step of faith in these people's lives. And it might be coming back to the path. It might be like Chris's story of just finding their way to the path. But it's such a great thing that we serve a God who is open 24-7, 365 for us to seek him because he's always seeking us. Amen.